The movie begins in the future, where an unknown organization locks millions of people in bunkers where they are forced to become vloggers and create endless video streams to get everything they need to survive. A young man wakes up in the middle of a dark room without his personal stuff, not understanding where he is and how he got there. At first, he's looking at the walls hoping to find a way out, but he can't find anything. Then, the guy notices a monitor turning on, in which the word SHARE appears. He tries to enter different ideas related to the word EXIT, but the computer presents them as incorrect by showing invalid command, and again offers the command SHARE. The guy confirms this command, and the broadcast turns on. The guy tries to ask questions and is looking for ways to get out because he has a dog at home that needs to be fed and walked. As he gets thirsty, he wants a drink, but there's no water. He tries to ask this question to the computer and then an option buy appears on the screen. But the guy has no money and doesn't understand how he can buy water. Shortly after, the guy realizes that real people are watching his broadcasts and he doesn't understand what he can show the viewers. So he starts to make silly faces and accidentally falls and starts asking for help because he is in a lot of pain. The number of views start to increase and viewers start sending donations of an unknown currency which he can use to buy stuff. He only has enough money for a bowl of dog food. As he is becoming more angry, he tries to return the bowl. There's no way to give it back. After that, the guy starts eating and starts to bark like a dog. This brings a new wave of views and donations which allow him to buy clothes. However, they turn out to be women's clothes. At night, he cries because he doesn't understand how he ended up in this place. He manages to pull himself together and starts a new broadcast. He starts dancing and falls around as he is trying to find new ways to entertain the viewers in order to get more money. Soon after, he buys himself a t-shirt and an inflatable mattress. After some time, he already has a full wardrobe and shaving tools. Days go by and the guy is able to buy himself a good meal and even alcohol, after which he tries to smash the monitor but ends up stopping the broadcast. Maybe not the best idea, my man. The guy tries every possible way to beg for forgiveness from the computer. Not getting an answer, he demands to be released. He starts crying, begging for one more chance. If you want to help him, feel free to subscribe to the channel. As he is becoming desperate, the guy lies down on the floor to wait for the end. The monitor turns on and a man appears on the screen and looks like he is in the room, just like our main character. He greets the guy and explains that there are glitches in the system. As he was able to gain a certain level in this system, he gained access to the common network and now he can communicate with the other vloggers. The man believes that they all work for the unknown kidnappers who locked them in the bunker. The man talks to the guy all evening about the structure of his new world. He likes to talk a lot and often jumps to other topics, so the guy gets tired of him. I'm sure we've all met people like this in our lives. One day, he hears the man cough. He tries to contact him by dialing his channel number. He then comes across a person teaching the audience how to cook. The guy starts dialing in different numbers and it turns out that behind each number is someone's channel. The trapped people teach viewers how to feed cats, apply makeup, and take care of themselves. One of these girls, an athlete, seems to have caught the guy's attention for a long time. I can't blame him. After some time, he connects with a man who is broadcasting about near-death experiences. Meanwhile, the young man continues his acrobatic lessons, for which he receives small donations. After a bad attempt to do a somersault, he lies on his mattress and the old man asks him to buy food, as his time is worth money. After the young man fulfills his request, the man draws attention to their ID numbers. The young man is under the number 14, while the man is 6395873. Could it be that the young man really appeared here before him? Everyone in the network is trying to figure out who locked them up here. There are theories about aliens in space. One boy convinces everyone that they are asleep and undergoing a test, but the man believes that the vloggers have locked themselves in their own world. He was once married to a singer who used to be a star, who the young man also liked. They start talking about her songs and sing them as a duet. Later that night, the young man connects to the channel of a girl who does yoga and sends the girl a donation because he likes her. The next morning, the guy buys furniture for himself and talks to the man who continues to enlighten him. The man says to the young man that he can't stay at one level here because then the viewers will stop loving him and they will stop sending him donations, so he needs to grow and improve his content. The young man begins to try new skills. He tries to do stand-up comedy, physical exercises, cooking, singing, and even magic tricks. In doing so, all this brings a new audience and more donations. 
At night, he now does gymnastics with the girl he likes and then buys medicine for the man. But while trying to make the purchase, he accidentally makes a mistake and ends up getting access to a room of a woman who is showering. At that moment, she was very mad and upset because she wasn't aware that someone was watching her. The young man is trying to explain that he is also a prisoner. She suggests that they should have rules and the man suddenly joins their conversation. The woman asks him about how long he has been in the bunker and hopes that someone tried to escape. The young man remembers how he hit the monitor which clearly didn't make the owners happy. The woman thinks that they need to analyze these cases and find a weakness in the system. When the young man says something about escaping, he is immediately limited from receiving donations, telling us that somebody is watching them. The woman does not understand what is happening. If they wanted to punish them, they would just lock them somewhere and leave them to die without food or water. But they are fed and even provided with comfort. The key question is, why them? Who were they before all this? The young man told them that before all of this, he was a nobody, but here he has the opportunity to have a better life. Soon enough, he starts a small puppet show with socks and entertains the viewers with his performances, which increases his donations. One day, he gives the woman a shower curtain, which makes her mad because she is used to being independent. Talk about being grateful. In the following days, the young man starts to teach people how to draw, but since he doesn't really know how to draw, he starts a class about being a model and the crowd finds it funny, and more donations come his way. The young man buys furniture for his room with all the donations. On another day, the woman can't stand it anymore and suggests starting a revolution in hopes that the other prisoners will join her. A big fight breaks out among the trio as the man is convinced that the prison is an opportunity to have a better life than before. Later that night, the man becomes ill. His cough causes him to choke and he suddenly has a seizure. As he is going through the seizure, his face presses against the monitor because he cannot move. The young man asks all of his subscribers for help, thinking that maybe somebody knows what to do in such a case. Meanwhile, the woman tries to find a menu in the computer, but she accidentally presses an unknown button. Suddenly, the man's room is lit on fire and he burns in front of his friend's eyes, unable to help himself. This moment was too hard for them to bear, which led them to stop communicating for a while. But one night, the young man contacts her, trying to convince her that she is not to blame for what happened. He continues to do a show for her. All of a sudden, she says that she wants to get drunk. They order alcohol for themselves and enjoy the last moment of freedom. Neither of them remember how they ended up in the bunker. After that, they start dancing in their cells. Later, they recall the old man and the young man says that he still hears his voice. Suddenly, he admits that she was right and maybe there are others who can do what she did earlier finding a button that is only visible to them. They think that if they all act together, maybe they can break free. The young man goes live and tells the audience about what happened. He points out the flaws in the system. He states that unknown functions appear sometimes and if they can use these functions to hack the system, the bunker might open. Afterwards, the athlete joins the conversation. She says that she likes the current state of her life because she decides how to spend her day. And right now, she will take care of herself and says goodbye to her new friends. The young man and woman start viewing all of the strange things that the other vloggers send. They notice that some of the others support their idea. Sometime later, he contacts the athlete again and she tells him his secret to success is making people smile, which is very valuable. While she encourages him to breathe with her, the woman joins in. The woman analyzed the unknown function sent to her. Someone can control the ventilation while another can even move the walls. She thinks these are different rooms located at different distances. Therefore, a map of connections needs to be built to break them even though some do not want to destroy this new world they live in. The young man asks not to rush things when suddenly the woman takes scissors and cuts her hair, explaining it as a distraction for the people who brought them here. If they don't react to their schemes, then they can be diverted by some actions. Later, the young man starts dialing all the numbers in a row and finds a beginner like he once was. That night, he joins the athlete who calls on everyone to be happy here now and not try to destroy their current reality. A fight breaks out between the women, where the athlete accuses the woman of violence against others while the woman claims that the athlete is an agent of their kidnappers. The young man fears that if nothing works out, he will be left without an audience and that will be a big problem. Afterwards, he still goes live and asks to see how many people are with him. He is surprised to see the number of votes rise to a couple million, which makes him happy. The athlete is furious because the young man has surpassed her channel and reputation and demands to stop all of this. A big fight starts again between the women. 
the athlete demands that the others stop influencing the system while the woman asks to increase their efforts. Suddenly, the woman's room catches on fire and rain pours down on her rival's room. Shortly after, the athlete's room also catches fire and the young man watches as both of his friends are burnt to death, unable to stop it. He breaks down and starts crying. Then, a door opens behind him to a bright sunny day with birds chirping. Not believing his eyes, he happily approaches the doorway but then the monitor comes to life. The young man begins to have second thoughts and returns to the screen, yelling that they managed to do it, that there is nothing that cannot be done together. While he's celebrating, the door suddenly closes. The movie ends with him getting back to playing his role again. The number of votes and donations on his monitor rapidly increase and the room turns dark. The moral of the story is that, from what most of you know, social media creates toxic relationships and behavior. People don't care if someone is hurt or not. They don't even care about someone's personal situation. The only important thing is that you can generate enough likes and subscribers to make your viewers happy and entertained just like this channel. Thank you very much and we will see you in the next video.